local moms are using the most difficult parts of their lives to make the holidays a little bit better for everyone. Yeah, their sons Demarcus and CJ were best friends growing up. Demarcus died saving his sister in a house fire and CJ was killed in a home invasion. Tessa Dettiro shows us how their mothers are ensuring their spirits live on. These two mothers, Rebecca and Shanquella, can understand each other's grief. They both lost their sons who grew up playing peewee football together. You get two choices when you lose a child. It's to either shut down and not be very nice or it's to honor their memory and treat people the same way that you would want them to be treated. For the last 11 years, along with other football mothers, they have collected gifts. He always had the biggest smile, so that this what we do every year reminds me of that. The wrapping paper and bows are a symbol that is more than just a good deed. He's my baby. I gotta keep his memory alive. Eight layaways are paid off at this Walmart store in Hamilton. 21 Salvation Army Angels have new coats, shoes, and toys. The things that we're doing shows the kind of person that he was. Even as a child, he was this kind of person. Four senior citizens and six other families have something to unwrap this year all because of DeMarcus and CJ. I've always loved helping people, but to be able to do this in my son's honor, it is overwhelming, but I'm grateful that I'm able to do it. These moms say if their sons were here, giving is what they would do. My son DeMarcus Rashad Thomas, 46, lives forever. It's the best Christmas gift you could ever give me is to please come forward and give me an answer. In Hamilton, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. And CJ's murder is still not solved. There is a $10,000 reward to help catch his killer. Call Crime Stoppers if you know anything. 352-3040, as always, is that number.